You can give examples of left-wing navel-gazing when it comes to the 2008 financial crisis. We've left the misery of working people to be taken advantage of by the far right and other reactionary elements in society. Reactionary ideologies have always been there. People thinking that neo-Nazis are a new thing and fascists are a new thing is not true. What we think is lately, yes, it has become more and more vocal. We've seen waves and waves of arson attacks against mosques, vandalism at uh, Jewish places of worship and cemeteries. We've seen continuous uh, terrorist attacks, you know, both in Canada and the U.S. by Trump supporters and white nationalists. So, I mean, I think, unfortunately, those kind of attacks are going to continue. We've got to be prepared. If this is basically the baseline now, it could be very scary in the next couple of years. There is a political struggle going on for for lack of a better word, the hearts and minds of the working class. My humble suggestion would be that the best way to wage that struggle is to form working class organizations that take up working class struggle, that can develop politics that are best suited to the problems that confront the working class. Those politics are anti-white supremacist, they are anti-Islamophobic, they are feminist, and they are communist. These are the politics that need to actually be developed. You need to build your organization, you need to build it strong, you need to build it in the communities and workplaces that you exist in, and then you need to make you and your comrades ready for conflict. You need to make sure that everyone is ready to stand and fight if necessary, but don't fetishize that. It's not only um, a physical thing, Popular education is also a good way of uh, propaganda, doing some research about fascist group. These roles are just as valuable and just as important as punching Nazis in the face, which fully advocate, uh, but again, it's not the be-all and end-all of, uh, of anti-fascism. It's often the most fun, but... <laughs> Organize. Don't wait for anybody. Organize now with your friends, with some people of your communities, uh, with some people in your workplace, in your neighborhood. We could keep going down the roads that we've been going down with an increasing obsession over a puritanical form of struggle where we wish to improve ourselves more than we wish to improve the world around us. Or we can seek to reach out to the more reactionary, unorganized elements of society and pull them into a struggle to overthrow capitalism and overthrow a system that oppresses us all. We can't give up poor white people to these groups. If there's nobody that's offering a counter narrative, nobody that's going door to door in a trailer park, all that stuff, I mean, eventually these groups will have an influence in these areas. If we have no prospect of organizing with the working class to cultivate politics that are counter to these politics, then we are in far worse trouble than the Black Bloc is capable of taking care of. But the bright side is, I personally, and I think many other people, don't think we're in that position just yet. It's unclear what's going to happen, I think, even six months from now, right now. There's a lot of moving pieces on the board. The anti-fascist resistance has emerged and increased quite quickly. If it can make firmer links with the movement for immigrants' rights and Black Lives Matter and other larger, somewhat radical or fairly radical social movements in our society, it'll be a much stronger movement. The far right are getting stronger and they're gaining more confidence. So it can, it can start to feel as if, like, you know, we're in a losing battle. But actually, I think that Things are still up for grabs. I think we have to get our shit together. I think we have to organize collectively. And I think we have to stay revolutionary minded. On one hand, we want to make sure that anti-fascism is not devoid of revolutionary politics, that like it needs to have this in-depth analysis, but also that we don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. This is going to be how a lot of people get involved with the wider revolutionary movement, and we should be very open to that. If you're interested in challenging reaction and far-right ideology and, and interested in defending yourself, then get in touch with the local anti-fascist group. Don't be scared to approach them. The tactic, the strategy are really open. There's a place for everybody. Particularly if you're a woman or a minority or disabled, you'll be told by kind of the more liberal elements of the left that, you know, anti-fascism might not be for you and that, you know, Antifa are just dominantly white men and they have like a white men saviour complex or whatever. But actually like a lot of that is like, is bullshit. I think it's really important as well to encourage more women and minorities to be involved in anti-fascism because it's an incredibly empowering feeling to feel that you can go out on the streets and physically stop fascists from being able to organize. It's important to build up anti-fascist self-defense now, and that includes not just people being ready to roll out to a demonstration, 
to like fight some Nazis, it means like mapping out in the local area who the fascists are, where these where these groups are situated, where their power is, who the leaders are, and really kind of obliterating those networks. When looking to the future, the one thing anti-fascists should be doing is identifying those fascist organizers that could be launching this future movement and brutally pushing them out of the movement and setting back any fascist movement five, ten years by doing so. We have to be able to split these movements. You know, we have to crack them at the base and expose their contradictions, and that's a huge task for us right now. Don't take shortcuts in your understanding, and don't take shortcuts in the strategies that you employ. Be reasonable, think about things, be diligent, be disciplined, carry out revolutionary politics within the working class.